Our smartphones are literally our lifelines these days in every single part of our lives. Obviously, for us as adults, but for kids, teenagers, those phones are quite possibly changing their lives, right, Chris? That's right. But could the devices be a reason for a drop in the amount of teens trying and using drugs? Well, it may sound crazy. Some researchers think it's a question that's worth looking into. In the news. It's awful. It's happening more and more every day. In your community. It's terrible. It's, you know, people are dying. You hear of opioid epidemic, heroin overdoses, governments trying to stay ahead of synthetic drugs. But are we missing a glaring bright spot here? Something to be encouraged by? Every year, the University of Michigan does this monitoring the future study, funded by the federal government, looking at high school drug use around the country. And 2016 looked like this. Illicit drug use other than marijuana were at the lowest use levels in 26 years. That's when they started tracking a lot of them. Well, that's positive, right? The real question is, why? Why do we see these drug usage statistics steadily going down year after year? Some experts think that it might be because of this. Our brains are hardwired to respond to rewards. According to the New York Times, Dr. Nora Volkow, director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, says she'll research this over the next few months. She told the Times that drug use declines nearly across the board and across demographics points to something. And she wonders if that something is smartphones. However, this is a theory. I don't think it's a one-to-one -one translation. And it has skeptics, like Dr. Joe Lee, who is the medical director of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation Youth Continuum. He's a child psychiatrist and addiction expert. For the high-risk kids that I see, it's really an and equation. So they do a lot of Pokemon Go and social media and continue to use substances. They don't use one for the other or substitute that way. You say you don't believe that smartphones and filling the void of experimenting with drugs is one-to-one, -one, but does it have any impact in your opinion? Is it plausible? I think it's plausible in some cases. I don't think on such a, on such a big level. I don't think the social media thing is that plausible. I mean, because think about it. I, I grew up with Nintendo and Xbox. Where was the dip in drugs there? Or in the 60s when TV first came out, where was the dip in drugs there? Dr. Lee's theory for the widespread decline in drug use leans more on better education public messaging on addiction, and seeing more drug overdose deaths. If you go to any school and you ask people, a show of hands, how much they know about addiction, and if they know people that have been impacted by addiction, you'll see a completely different show of hands and a completely different response than you did five or six years ago. There's like a more honest look in the mirror. Like, it's in the news every day, yeah. someone dying. Someone dying, someone getting into a car accident, someone getting arrested, someone losing a father, a brother, you know, a friend. Real pain, yeah. Real pain. So he was a skeptic, obviously, but there are other experts in the similar field who said that it is likely plausible, and that's why they're going to research it. One of the experts said that, that phones, smartphones, fill the necessity of sensation-seeking, right, which is why some people experiment with drugs. So they feel that you get the good stuff, right, from, from this, whether it be games or communicating, social media, likes, whatever it is, provides the good stuff. And sometimes seeking that good stuff is why others experiment with drugs. Obviously, Dr. Lee, total expert on this. He don't see it. I'm not an expert at all, but Dr. Lee made more sense to me. We talked about this forever yep. this morning. But yep. it is interesting and something to think about, and that's kind of why we bring these things to mm -hmm. you, our viewers, and to those using on social to talk about, just to think about it for a second. All right.